Class 11.2 Activate SSD Malaysia By default, when we created our account book previously, we already enable our goods and services tax. But we can still double check in our system. You may go to Tools, then select on Option and click on Tax. So by default, you can see the enable check is already checked. The tax rate is 6%. So whenever the rate is changed in Malaysia, you can manually change the tax rate. Rename tax for currently we maintain to tax. Why we don't maintain as SST? Because currently in our system, we have kept both SST and also GST. So whenever the tax in Malaysia has changed or returned back to GST, we can still use the GST. So you may just leave it as tax. Must specify tax code. If you check on this checkbox, means whatever transaction that you have recorded, it will, it will request you to apply on the tax code. But since some of the transaction is not related to the SST, then we just leave it unchecked. Enable checks document number management. This one is not applicable in Malaysia. This one will be used in Indonesia, which is only government allowed to control the tax. Allow different tax currency rate. This one is not also applicable in Malaysia. This one is used in Singapore. Use inclusive tax for all sales documents. This one you may check if most of your sales is inclusive. But if only one or two transactions is inclusive, you may enable the inclusive button later in each transaction. Because in each transaction, we have the button of inclusive which you may check anytime. So, please make sure that all these three is unchecked. Use default tax code in AR and AP. Later in the next task, we will set the default tax code in our tax code maintainer. So, once you already set the default, it will be used in AR and AP for the default. Tax reporting just remain default and don't change anything. And click on OK. That's all for task 11.2.